Hey everybody, I'm Brooks Hanley and I'm an application engineer here at Keysight Technologies. Today we're going to be looking at millimeter wave phase noise measurements at D-band. And D-band is from 110 gigahertz to 170 gigahertz and has applications in aerospace and defense as well as in emerging 6G wireless research. So the system that we're about to show you today is the highest performance, lowest complexity system on the market. And so let's take a look at it. So here we have an extremely high performance, low phase noise oscillator that, that puts out a fixed frequency 9.6 gigahertz sinusoid. We then multiply that up with an active tw times 12 multiplier from VDI. We go into a uh, power divider, which splits into two channels for cross correlation. There's two D-band waveguide mixers that are being used as phase detectors. And what that means is the RF and the LO are, are in quadrature or at 90 degrees uh, from each other. So those are being driven by uh, PSG signal generators into the LO inputs and the IF is at baseband. And the nice thing about that is we've suppressed the carrier in this phase detection process and, and we go into the system which is baseband noise, kick in 56 dB of baseband gain um, and we have the maximum initial dynamic range at that, at that point. So as you can see, here's the N5510 software where you can see correlation number on the bottom, the measurement trace, as well as the uncorrelated noise. Uh, and then we also have an oscilloscope here for measuring the beat note for, for the calibration process. All right, so let's look at a little more detail on the block diagram. So that extremely low phase noise, high performance uh, CW source that I was talking about is here. Right? So then we go out to a times 12 active multiplier from VDI. Um, in this case, it's called the, the WR6.5 SGX. And then we go into a 10 dB pad. And then we go into a waveguide splitter. And the reason for that is we have two channels. And the two channels allows us to remove uncorrelated noise from the LOs or the references in the system and from the internal system noise, um, the LNAs that are inside the, the test system itself. So the two channels allow that cross-correlation process to happen. Um, and given enough cross-correlations, we can actually get to the DUT's actual performance, or, or basically the SNR that's at the input of that splitter. You'll also notice there's two 30 dB isolators here. And the reason for the isolators is, um, is to prevent uh, basically leakage from the reference source in channel two uh, from leaking over into channel one and vice versa. Um, because otherwise you'll get a, a false floor base, uh, that's called a, a correlated floor that's not the true DUT performance. These, these two mixers, these two VDI mixers are being used as phase detectors, which as I said, are when, you're, when you have the LO and the RF are in quadrature and the carrier is suppressed, which is nice because then we don't have to worry about overranging the ADCs in the system. Um, we're just, we, all we have left is a baseband noise signal. Um, so, after, so in the IF with that baseband noise, there's amplifi amplification provided by VDI. And then from there, we go into our baseband noise inputs into the phase noise test system, which provides a further 56 dB uh, of low noise um, gain from, from LNAs inside the system. So now let's take a look at an actual measurement. So as you can see, this is the N5510 software running on the N5511 phase noise test system. And so the phase noise trace is actually this solid yellow line here. And then below that, you'll see a more transparent yellow trace um, that's kind of a shaded area. And that represents the uncorrelated noise in the system. And the uncorrelated noise is coming from the LOs, as well as any uncorrelated noise from the phase detector module themselves, which is primarily from the LNAs. And so remember, with cross-correlation or cross-spectral averaging, we can remove that, that uncorrelated noise. But the nice thing about showing the uncorrelated noise is you can actually see test margin. And so notice how far out here, there's you know, about 20 dB or so of test margin. And closer in, we're still uh, doing more cross-correlations and, and creating more test margin. Um, the other thing to notice is because this is done, these uh, data acquisitions are done in parallel. And so when we've done eight correlations close in here at 10 hertz, we've done millions of correlations out at the far out offsets. And that's because each segment is, uh, we have this process called multi-segment and incremental update, whereby all of these segments are done in parallel. And that means more correlations are done further out. And you'll also notice that the trace variance further out is reduced 
because that cross-correlation process, remember, is, is like an averaging process. And so the more correlations that are performed, once you hit a correlated floor, you essentially average out the trace variance. Once, once the noise no longer drops and you're not removing uncorrelated noise anymore, then you're just basically smoothing out or averaging out the trace. So we actually have multiple solutions in the Keysight portfolio. We've already looked at the highest performance solution, the, the phase noise test system, the N5511A. There are five other solutions to choose from that vary in performance. So let's see how they stack up against each other. We're, we're able to compare the performance of our various solutions in our portfolio by looking at what's called a sensitivity chart. And so there are two types of sensitivity charts depending on the type of phase noise measurement that you're making. So the first one and the most common one is, is an absolute phase noise sensitivity chart. So absolute phase noise measurements are things, you know, making measurements of things like oscillators or synthesizers, signal generators, uh, things of that sort. There's also two-port or additive noise sensitivity, which is um, amplifiers, multipliers, dividers, uh, those types of devices, component type measurements. So in terms of absolute sensitivity, if we look here, there are six different solutions in the Keysight portfolio that measure absolute phase noise. Um, the newest member is called the SSAX, and that's the red trace here. And so in this case, lowest is better. Um, and the assumption is that we've done one correlation at one hertz offset. There may be many millions done at, at higher offsets, depending on if there are parallel processing happening. Um, the only cross-correlating systems in this chart are the SSAX, the SSA, and the, the PNTS. And this says PNTS plus PSG because the PNTS system uh, takes an arbitrary reference source and so it's, it's uh, basically limited by the reference source that you use. And so if you were given a different reference source, let's say uh, that's even higher performance, you could get even better sensitivity. But so you'll notice the SSAX is, is the red trace here. Um, and, and at many of the offsets, it's one of the best solutions at eight gigahertz. Um, the PNTS plus the PSG is this burnt orange trace. And you'll notice that um, it's the best, especially at further out offsets. Um, and then we have a kind of a clustering of our other solutions, the, the PNA, the UXA, and the original SSA. Um, and those are kind of similar to each other, as well as the UXR. So our, our Infinium oscilloscopes also make phase noise measurements now, too. Um, but you'll notice they're clustered kind of similarly in performance. Um, the UXR really pulls ahead at the farther out offsets, and that's really that it, it's uh, bread and butter. Over here is the residual noise uh, sensitivity charts for the Keysight solutions. And you'll notice we only have two um, additive or residual noise solutions, the PNAX and the PNTS. So notice if you have really high performance uh, amplifiers or any kind of component that you need to make an additive noise measurement on, the PNTS is, is far and away the better solution. The PNAX is great for um, you know, kind of mid-performance devices or if you already need a network analyzer, um, for any other two-port measurements that network analyzers are designed to do. So we just saw that, that Keysight partnered with VDI has one of the highest performance, lowest complexity phase noise test systems for millimeter wave on the market today. If you have any further questions, please contact Keysight. Thank you.